<laughs> Welcome back to Views and Vibes, y'all. We are talking about the pitfalls in dating, and I have my wonderful, knowledgeable panel here. And um, the next thing I wanted to talk about, you know, talking about the expectations. What are some of the misconceptions people have about dating um, before they even begin to date? No, what that is it that, that is supposed to be perfect. That okay. is supposed to go right. And then we put too much pressure on it. Like uh, I just had an incident happen last week where a friend of mine she went out with a guy that I actually kind of hooked her up with, and he is a he's a, a postgraduate student. Okay. So, and so he's so not really. Yeah. So he's struggling right he's now. He's struggling yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. And been there. He brought that up in the conversation, and next you know she's texting me talking about. Um, I left my credit card at home, <laughs> and I don't know if he got any money because he's talking about how he's, you know, still in school and everything. Can I borrow fifty bucks just in case? And I'm like, wow, calm down, <laughs> calm down, you know. <laughs> and I mean, he ended up taking care of everything, but it's just, you know, I was talking about defense mechanisms and everything mm -hmm. earlier. It's like, you know, all of a sudden, all these red flags started popping up in her head. And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, him, him not being able to pay for dinner. But he, yeah. did, but he yeah. did pay for dinner. But he did. I, but I know she was worried because... She was worried because he may not pay for dinner. I think that would be a red flag that, that most women would have, though. Um, and I, I think that's that's a realist. I don't think that's false because, I mean, I've been out on with a guy and he's like, cross your finger, my credit card work. And it's like, <laughs> that is a turnoff because I think it has more to do with if you know who you are, what you bring to a relationship. I know in the book we have this relationship market assessment mm -hmm. and women write me, they love it. And I tell them to give it to someone else and let them be realistic about what value you bring to a relationship so you know the type of mate you can attract. Mm -hmm. And it looks at eight areas. It looks at your finances, your career, your personality, you know, your looks. But it's, it says you know, basically, don't be a romantic overachiever. Don't be unrealistic about what you should expect from a mate and mm -hmm. what you offer. So but, we're, but we're still talking about dating. We're not even talking about going to the next level yet. Right. When we start talking about finances and all that, that's fine if you guys are moving forward. If you're talking about courting somebody or getting into a relationship, mm -hmm. but when you're just talking about dating. Well, that is courting. If you ask me out, um, I think, you know, me, I'm still very traditional. Mm -hmm. I'm automatically going to make the assumption that you're going to pay okay. unless we've made some other arrangement. And so in saying that, would you recommend that people find something cheaper to do on that first date? No matter how much money you have, because mm -hmm. I have this conversation all the time, why are you going out there and trying to spend so much money on the mm -hmm. first date? First date. You know, are you trying to impress somebody right. when you know you right. don't have it anywhere? Right, and there's so many things you can do that cost no money in right. terms of just spending quality time together. But I think in terms of if, if you ask someone out to dinner, mm -hmm. even if I ask someone out to dinner. It's just whoever asked that person out for dinner is the one that pays the bill, right. whether that's professional or personal. Mm -hmm. So I, I could see that being a little bit of a concern, you know, just because of Chivroy. He like, asked me he, say he didn't have money to pay for that. He never said that. No, I, I have to respect him for being honest right. because I have, just like most of you, graduate degrees and it's you you paying your dues we've right. all been there right. so I have to respect him for saying hey I'm a postgraduate student hey, I'm I tell people all the time I'm, I'm a starving artist so <laughs> I don't know how much you expect that I mean, we have a good time right. but I'm not spending a lot of money right yeah. you know and, and, you and this the thing it was it was their first date right mm -hmm. exactly and it, I mean it was it wasn't one of those like a really expensive restaurant or anything mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't want to put the business out there but <laughs> it was it was that was the thing about it. it's like it's the first date and they d decided to hook up and go to this place and everything, but it's, I know in her red flags just started to come up all of a sudden <laughs> when she, right. he started talking about, you know, school and, you know, the bills and, right. and, and everything, and, and she my was like, oh my is, God. Why is she texting during the middle of a date? Uh, how did, I mean, how well, do you even, I mean, when you're dating somebody, that's the other thing about dating yourself. Let's talk about what a date is, because I'm thinking if I'm on a date with somebody, my attention is fully on them. My phone right. is off. You know, I'm not going to the bathroom to text anybody. If I'm going to the bathroom, I'm going to the bathroom, I'm coming right back. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not taking all that extra time to do anything else. I want to focus all my attention on that person at that time. So what is a date? And you're, should you have not, your phone on? <laughs> you're not one of those guys that do the double dating where you're on a date or on a dinner date. I guess. And then you're planning for the date afterwards. And you're texting someone else, like, you know, keeping in touch with them. Right. So it's almost like you're in, interacting with two women at the same time. No, no, you should be, to yeah, me, you should be engaged good, yeah. with that person. You mm -hmm. should be engaged that in that conversation. That's serious disinterest is what that is. Because mm -hmm. if you're really engaged and interested, I think you, you will want to focus on that person. Right, right. You won't be distracted and texting people and right. things like that. Mm -hmm. And that in itself is a red flag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm yeah. on a date with a guy or hanging out with a guy and his phone is more important than me, um, it's about time for me to leave you, finish mm -hmm. this date with your phone. So, so what is a date? Like you said earlier, you know, 
when you go out on a date, it's about having fun and getting to, you know, mm -hmm. meet people and get to know people. Mm -hmm. What is a date then? Right. Well, sometimes I'm on a date, I don't even know it, because a guy may say, hey, let's, let's go do this. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the whole, so for me, dating, because it is fun, we're just hanging out. Right. We haven't determined if we even like each, each other enough to move to any new relationship. Mm -hmm. We're just hanging out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's so many different terms. You'll hear dating, hooking up, you know. I, we were actually talking about this, me and the fellas, and um, I had a guy who said, well, let's hook up. And I said, what does hook up really mean? Mm. You know, and he said, did he say hook up at my house or hook up like go to dinner? Right. But I think anytime two people decide that they want to go out for the purpose of getting to know each other better, that's a date. Mm -hmm. um, if we go out, you know, and say we're just, you know, Plutonic friends, we're just, that's hanging out. Mm -hmm. But if we date, we are trying to get to know each other better to see if mm -hmm. there's some opportunity for a more meaningful relationship. Mm -hmm. Well, why does dating seem so complicated for some people? I think dating is complicated. I tell people I'm not a dater. Mm -hmm. I don't do dates. Mm -hmm. Why I do you think it's complicated? I, I do hangouts because dating is stressful. Oh. Just I, I, that I term, don't on do it. dating. For oh. me, I like to be in an environment where, hey, let's go play miniature golf or, mm -hmm. or let's go do something fun where mm -hmm. people are relaxed and you can really see the person. When you're out on a date at a dinner, restaurant or something, you're trying to be on your best behavior, say all the right things, make sure you don't have broccoli in your teeth. And so it's location. Yeah. <laughs> broccoli and spinach is fine in your teeth. I so that's that kind of location. The location makes it, like yeah. a dinner makes it formal. Like if I am going out on a first date, I prefer like a, like a coffee shop because it could be 10 minutes or two hours depending right. on how it's going. Right. But you know, dinner, you're almost forced to be with that person for mm -hmm. a few hours. And I'm not being with anybody uh, that long. So what, what, what complicates it? I'm sorry, what, com what complicates it? it, it, it it, it becomes an interview, mm -hmm. you know. That's mm -hmm. what happens. Mm -hmm. It becomes right. a job interview, right. you know. Right. And and at the end, it is like the, they have the resume with them. Right. You know, right. you're thinking like, okay, now if they ask me, where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> you know what I mean? The typical right. questions. Right. Because right. I've had women ask me that on a date, and I'm yeah. like. How do we get here? Right, you know, <laughs> right. like, uh, I'm, did, didn't you see my resume? Why are you asking, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> but it, it, it becomes that, and that's why it's, it's a good advice to do something that's kind of fun and loose where you can kind of just show your personality. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer things like going to, say, some type of festival, mm -hmm. you know, or like just being some, active. Yeah, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. cook off or wine tasting or something. I don't know about the wine tasting. With yeah, women, bowling, but, playing pool, uh, something you can but look, look engage. It, we have to go to a quick break, real quick. Well, quick break, real quick. Any which way, um, we have to go break. When we come back, I want to talk about some mistakes people make on dating and how they can correct those mistakes. So we'll be right back after this.